Good morning and happy Christmas to you all. Welcome to our Christmas Day online service. Today's service is going to be led by the staff team and Archdeacon Karen Lund will be delivering our message for the day. A day where we remember this amazing gift of love from God for us as he sent his son Jesus to be born. I'd like to just begin with a really short poem called BCAD by AC Fanthorpe. This was the moment when before turned into after and the future's uninvented timekeepers presented arms. This was the moment when nothing happened, only dull peace sprawled boringly across the earth. This was the moment when even energetic Romans could find nothing better to do than counting heads in remote provinces. And this was the moment when a few farm workers and three members of an obscure Persian sect walked haphazard by starlight straight into the kingdom of heaven. Have an amazing day celebrating in whatever way you will be doing and whatever way is possible. But remember, do keep safe and do try to remember Jesus in today. But I'm gonna hand over now to Nicola, who's going to lead us in a short prayer. Let us pray. Almighty and loving God, in the name of your Son, Jesus, we join together to worship you. Through his coming, you have blessed us with the light of your love. You have filled our world of darkness with your light. You have illuminated our hearts with the good news. You have made your glory shine upon us so that nothing shall ever overcome it. So now we come with glad thanksgiving, with eager expectation, with heartfelt praise. The Collect for Christmas Day Almighty God, you have given us your only begotten Son to take our nature upon him, and at this time to be born of a pure virgin, Grant that we who have been born again and made your children by adoption and grace may daily be renewed by your Holy Spirit. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.
A reading for Christmas from the Gospel according to Luke, beginning at chapter 2. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should take place of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flock at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favour rests. When the angels had left and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem to see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which was just as they had been told. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Happy Christmas and holy greetings to you all on this Christmas day. And I greet you in a year where we have lived very distant lives from each other, and we have been comp compelled to protect ourselves, psychologically living in a far distant land, communicating remotely, standing at a distance, staying inside, and we have lived with an uncomfortable insecurity. We have become experts at muting. We have become a nation of mask wearers in order to protect ourselves from the virus. A difficult and challenging year it has been with loss, grief and much sadness. And perhaps the year's refrain has been keep calm and keep your distance. And we've had to share that message in our churches, in shops, in justice demonstrations like Black Lives Matter, in nursing homes, schools and hospitals and our language too has been focused around barriers and prevention and self-isolation we have re been rerouted into shops and other buildings we've learned to watch and wave from afar hands face space has been the government's slogan to remind us of what we need to do but today christmas day is a day when we experience and share the joy of God coming near. That God has come near to us in Christ and is the voice of hope and a voice of peace. A God who holds our hands and our faces and our spaces and transforms them into the likeness of Christ. So using that slogan, 
to reflect on what that mean may mean for us on this Christmas day. Hands. On Christmas day, our covered hands can be uncovered to feel the embrace of God and to hold the love that comes in Christ. Face. On Christmas day, our covered faces are uncovered to look unashamedly into the face of God and to know that God looks with light and warmth into our faces. Space. On this Christmas day, each one of us is invited into a divine space of light, glory and power, not at any distance, but close and intimate with God, as close as the shepherds and the magi were on that first holy night. But we do have some perplexions still. Like Mary, we wonder, how will this be? How on earth are things going to work out in the future? How shall we do this? And the angel replies, this is not a new normal. Christ is not a new normal. Christ is a forever and a divine normal that will turn your world blissfully upside down. Christ is the divine normal that offers many things, but uppermost offers love. A love that on this Christmas day comes near to you and all your loved ones, comes with all the power of the Most High God, and as Luke puts it, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and God's power will rest upon you. And so today, may you know the comfort and joy that comes with the birth of Christ, who invites you to stand very close to God and know that God stands very close to you. So unmute your lips and let your voices sing God's praise today and forever. Because it is Christmas Day and love has come into the world forever. And it comes for those of us who live this life on earth and for those who have died. And so wishing you a Christmas of happiness, love, joy and peace. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Father, at this holy time, your Son, our Saviour, was born in human flesh. Renew your church as the body of Christ. Holy God, hear our prayer. At this holy time, there was no room for your Son in the inn. Protect with your love those who have no home and all who live in poverty. Holy God, Hear our prayer. At this holy time, Mary, in the pain of labour, brought your son to birth. Hold in your hand all who are in pain or distress. Holy God, hear our prayer. At this holy time, your Christ came as a light shining in the darkness. Bring comfort to all who suffer in the sadness of our world. Holy God, hear our prayer. At this holy time, the angels sang, Peace to God's people on earth. Strengthen those who work for peace and justice in all the world. Holy God, hear our prayer. At this holy time, shepherds in the field heard the good tidings of joy. Give us grace to preach the gospel of Christ's redemption. Holy God, hear our prayer. At this holy time, strangers found the Holy Family and saw the baby lying in a manger. Bless our homes and all whom we love. Holy God, hear our prayer. At this holy time, heaven is come down to earth and earth is raised to heaven. 
Hold in your hand all those who have passed through death in the hope of your coming kingdom. Holy God, hear our prayer. At this holy time, Christians the world over celebrate Christ's birth. Open our hearts that he may be born in us today. Holy God, hear our prayer. Father, at this holy time, angels and shepherds worshipped at the manger throne. Receive the worship we offer in fellowship with Mary, Joseph and the saints. Through him who is your word made flesh, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful and lift up all who are brought low that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we bring our prayers together in the words of the Lord's Prayer, the, Lord, the prayer our Saviour taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Oh, come, are ye faithful, joyful and true. Thank you for joining us today. We finish with the blessing. 
May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, and the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child, be yours this Christmas. May the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Have a very happy Christmas. Thank you.